Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here today for Cut at Home. I wanted to share with you some of the new Spellbinders dies that are coming out. These are some gorgeous dies, and I, I made a couple super simple cards to share with you, which I'll show you in a minute on how I use some of these dies. So the first one I want to share with you is Holiday Angel, and she is a, a tall angel here. This one is S3-209. And I believe she's available now. So when you go to Cut at Home, when you um, look on the website on the right, there's going to be a custom search. You can just type in this number and it'll bring up this product. So again, this one is Holiday Angel. Super intricate, very pretty. The next one I'd like to share is the floral die. Now this is a card front die. This one here is S4-452. And how this works is you get two dies out of it. So you can take this die and punch this directly out of your card front and it'll give you a window into your card or if you add this die to it, it will cut out a perfect piece for an A2 size card. So these are really neat. This one is available for pre-order. The next one is Contemporary Circles, and this is S4-450. This one's available for pre-order. And this is one of the cards that I, I use this for one of my cards. Again, super simple card. So what I did is I had a scrap piece of paper, decorative piece of paper, pattern paper, and I chose both of these. So I put this on my scrap piece of paper. I added this. I added a little bit of tape, which you can use post-it note if you'd like, and I ran it through my big shot. Most of these dies will go through um, pretty much any die cutting system that you have. So I just added that to my Big Shot and it cut out this piece of paper and then I glued it to my card front and as you can see it is a perfect match. So I could have chosen, I put it on a piece of craft card stock, I could have chosen just to put this on here, which if I did that it would leave this part of the card intact and just give me a window into my card. So you get your choice of how you want to do it, but this one's called Contemporary Circles and it's available for pre-order. It's super cute. The next one is Labels 40 dies, and you get five dies in this. This one is S4465. And look at these, these are so cute. So they have um, different sizes, five different sizes. Let me turn it like this so you can see it better. Sorry for the glare. That's the Labels 40 dies. This one here is Decorative Accents. This one here is S4. 466. And I've already used these on a project. Look at this one. Isn't this pretty? And then you get this one, this one, and this one. So these are gorgeous. You can use them all together. You can use them separate, but you get all four of those. And again, that one is S4466. This is Florida Elegance. This is available for pre-order. S4475. And you get three of these in here. Let me take these out so you can see them a little bit better. All of these are just stunning and so easy to use. These are just so gorgeous. Again, those are S4475. 
The next one is the Sparkle Die, which is S4476. And with this one, you get two dies. So you can cut out just the outline of it. And these are like little snowflakes. Or you can place it inside of each other and cut out both. So it will cut a perfect um, border around this if you choose to use both. S4476. And I also have some of the Spellbinder Delights. I have here, these are called Conversation Bubble 4. So you get two of those. And they're little clouds, or cloud bubbles. And they're S2138. And as you can see, let me hold it up a little closer. They have a stitched edge around them. Super cute, there's two in there. And then next, the holiday sentiments. And these holiday sentiments come in um, several words. Holidays, joy, Noel, Merry Christmas, and happy. So you can build your own sentiments. This is S2118. And Sentiments 3 comes with ha with love and happy birthday. Here's the with love and happy birthday. And these are S2139. And this is what I use on both of these cards here. Here's the happy birthday. I cut it apart. After I die cut it, I cut it apart. I added several layers, about four different layers, to make it a little bit thicker. And then I just simply cut it and added it to my card. Here is where I cut it out and I did not cut it apart. And as you can see, I did several. I wanted to do white on white and then just add a little bit of color in here. I added three different flowers from Craft Supplies 1, kept the card super simple, and added a piece of that same decorative paper that's on the front here so it ties in. And then I went ahead and rounded my corners. Simple, cute cards. And with these card fronts, it makes it so easy to make cards. So if you have any questions, then leave me a comment and check out um, the links in the description box below for Cut It Home and also their blog to give you more great ideas on products you can purchase in their store. They always have great sales, so run and check them out. Thanks so much for watching.